Antibiotic resistance is, I guess, one of the most significant threats to human health. We tend to think of bacteria as pathogens, they are dangerous, they can cause illness, they spoil food. However, my key driver and interest has been that bacteria are useful organisms. They produce a lot of compounds that we use every day, enzymes, antibiotics. We see that resistance develops faster than we can develop new antibiotics, so it's imperative that we focus our efforts to find new bioactive compounds that we can use as the novel antibiotics that we need. An interesting thing with bacteria is that, that we cannot really grow many of them in the lab, so they have requirements that we can't meet. And we know we can grow about maybe 0.1 to 1% of bacteria from the environment. We can't really grow the rest in the lab with the techniques that we have right now. Um, and that's a serious sort of limitation in, in how we can study their ecophysiology, so how they grow and respond to environmental cues, and also in terms of, of understanding what sort of compounds they produce. Alexander Fleming in 1928 discovered a microorganism, a filamentous fungi, producing a compound that inhibited a pathogen. And we have searched microorganisms, especially from soil, uh, for their production of antibiotics, and they have been a tremendous source of such compounds. I think there are statistics that says that between 50 and 70 percent of the antibiotics that we use in the clinic today are actually derived from microorganisms. So it's sort of the, the warfare between microbes that we have used also in the clinic. And I think today, as we look towards new sources of antibiotics, we're returning to microbes. So we're exploring new niches, new microorganisms, hoping that we can find novel chemistry and novel compounds. What we're doing right now is trying to map where do we see the largest richness in compounds? So what environments have microbial communities within them that harbor the, the most natural products? So where's the highest potential for finding novel uh, antibiotics? We also know from work here by Mikkel and others that especially if we start looking to marine sediments, we see a very high potential for antibiotic production. One thing that we are interested in, in, in with the sediment aspect is that we have sort of gradients of oxygen in sediments. So we believe, we know that these are driving the microbial community composition in sediments, the availability of oxygen. So we sample cores of sediment so that we have an intact uh, sort of profile of the sediment. Is it the deeper sediments that has the highest potential or is it the, is it the top part where it's oxygenated that that have the highest, uh, that has the highest diversity and the highest potential. We've always perceived these molecules that fungi and bacteria produce as their competitive weapons, their weapons of mass destruction, if you wish. But what we've realized over the past, say, five years, is that there is very little experimental evidence from nature that bacteria and fungi use these compounds to fight one another. Bacteria that produce antimicrobial compounds, um, they do so in response to other bacteria. So they, when you take them in the lab and grow them, they do not encounter any of their community uh, fellow members, uh, and then they don't turn on the genes that are responsible for producing these compounds. And we use co-cultivation to elicit sort of uh, production of antimicrobial compounds. So we grow them together with members of the same uh, community. So we've been very fortunate and uh, received a large grant from the Danish National Research Foundation where we ask one of these blue horizon questions, which is what is the natural role of antibiotic compounds in microbial communities? And we hope that this will unravel new biological understanding but we also hope that if we can understand the exact molecular function of these compounds in nature, we can also develop strategies for where should we go and look for new compounds. So in the end, we will also contribute 
through basic science to antibiotic discovery.